Hey guys, welcome to a new series on my YouTube channel. This is Nerdy Rooster here, and this is episode one of my Iron Man. Uh, I, this is not a new account, uh, really, at all. <laughs> I've had it for about six months, but I haven't really been playing consistently, so I haven't really made any videos on it. But as you can see, I just got 79 construction, which means I do not need to touch this skill ever again, uh, because that's all I need for the Sun Spear. Uh, looking at my other stats here that I have, well, let's just look at that. Yep, it's one of the requirements for Lord of Vampirium. So basically, I've been doing uh, caches for divination. Uh, I have been doing farming with a bunch of seeds I've gotten a lot from thieving actually because I've been stealing from master farmers done a bit of divinate a bit of dungeoneering some hunter uh, fire making is actually all from when I did Tusca and I do have full war priest I have gothic staff um, I have a bit of food I'm gonna need to get some more very soon uh, this is my herblorn seeds tab Got a bunch of uh, herbs that I've collected, some seeds as well. Uh, haven't really been doing too much farming lately just because I've been AFK in the beach. But I'm going to get back into that once I unlock uh, Temple Tracking. I have the first part of it done with the uh, in aid of the Mire Cube, but I still need to do the Darkness of Hollow Vale, which I'll get to probably tomorrow. Uh, and then this is just my Raw Resources tab. Uh, you can see I got some mahogany planks there, uh, got oak logs, got just a bunch of different random assorted stuff in this tab. This is my potions tab and my food tab. This is my mage tab. It actually has some steel in it for some reason. I'm going to have to organize my bank again. This is my range tab. This is my melee tab. And this is a tab where I just throw things that I need for quests. Like, this is all these nails I got from the uh, In Aid of the Mire queue. Uh, and then this is a miscellaneous tab with a bunch of different things, uh, which don't really fit under any of the other categories of stuff. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, my main goal for now is I want to unlock the elf city then after that I want to do uh, branches of dark mire uh, and eventually I'm gonna unlock the sun spear after that though I should be able to start doing some uh, PVM hopefully uh, hopefully I'll have high enough prayer by then and high enough herb lore by then that I'll be able to get into some higher tier bossing uh, I don't really know too many of the uh, really high level bosses, like I haven't really killed Araxor before or Virago before, but I'm going to need to learn to kill them uh, because I'm going to need the weapons from, well I'm going to need the Araxor weapons definitely. Uh, yeah, I also am going to need to learn how to do raids, shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I've like watched quite a few uh, kills with raids and it seems pretty easy not the Yakamaro one but the Beastmaster one does seem pretty easy but yeah I do not think I'm going to be training my runecrafting to get the greater runic staff because I don't really see a point after uh, branches of Darkmire I'll have a tier 70 staff which should tide me over until I get 78 uh, to use the Sun Spear. Uh, yeah, so I don't really see any point in doing that. Like, yes, it would unlock ports, but there's really not that many things from ports I really want, to be honest. Um, the armor is not that good. The weapons take so long to make that by the time I'd have the resources to make them, I'd probably already have tier 90s anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me that much. But yeah, the first requirement for the Lord of Vampirium is done. I've just been doing a lot of construction here at the beach, and it's all over. Uh, anyway, so now I'm going to be doing a bunch of quests, starting with the Darkness of Hollow Vale. 
and then I'm going to be trying to unlock the Throne of Miscellanea. So I will be back when I'm done with the Darkness of Hollowvale. Alright. Alright, so I just finished doing the Dragon Slayer quest because I needed uh, to get 40 strength for the Darkness of Hollowvale. And I actually got 41 from it, so that's a plus. I also got 52 defense. Um, and I got another combat level. So I'm only two away from being able to use uh, the, I think her name is Chaldair in, uh, in uh, Zanaris. So, yeah, All right. I guess I'll do Darkness of Hollow Bale now. Alright, I'm doing a tarot bird race right now, and I'm almost done. Whoops, I just surged into that building, I think. And I will be getting level 56. And here we go. Yep, level 56. I should now have all the levels I need to complete regicide. Yep. Which is very good because uh, once you complete Regicide, you can buy the Dragon Halberd and the Rune Halberd, which are both really good two-handed weapons, and currently right now all I got is this Rune Mace. Um, but anyway, right now what I'm doing is I'm just uh, going to be doing some of these daily challenges because uh, I don't have enough time to do Darkness of Hollow Veil before. I go out with some friends tonight, so I'm going to try to get this mahogany challenge done so I won't lose this iron burial one when it uh, resets at, uh, at 7. So yeah, I'll be back when I finish it. Alright, so I just finished uh, this gold ore challenge. I decided not to do the construction one because it would take too long because I don't even have enough money to make all those planks. And there we go. That's actually way more experience than I was thinking I would get from that. That was only like 45 gold ore and it gave me 15k mining experience. I mean, I'll take that. And it also gave me some adamant ore, which will come in... It will come in handy later when I'm training smithing. Um, yeah, but now since I have that done, I have to eat dinner, and then I'm going to be going out with some friends. I'll be recording again later tonight. Alright, just finished Troll Invasion before it reset for the month. This is something that every Iron Man should do every single month, because it's free XP, and it takes like 10 minutes. And I got 23,000 herb lore experience in like 3 minutes. Which got me to level 55 herb lore. So now I can make super strength potions. That's good. Alright. Alright, so I finished an iron burial armor uh, daily. Which I extended just because I'm going to need to get... Uh, I think I need 70 smithing, or 75 for Elf City, I may be wrong, but I know for a fact I need it for the Void Stairs back, which I'm going to want to do at some point. So, oops, let's turn in these challenges, turn in this challenge. Wow, 22k, that's actually kind of crazy, I just advanced 4 smithing levels, not to mention the 3 I advanced previously just from making the armor. So that's one of the requirements for Swan Song. I can now do Elemental Workshop 4, uh, but I'm not going to do those at all. Like, it's just a bad idea to do them, <laughs> and I'm not going to. I think I can... can yeah, I can do Steel Burial Armor now in the Artisan's Workshop. All right. Well, I'll be back when I finish Darkness of Hollowvale. All right. Here we go. I am finishing this quest. There we go. And booyah. That is Darkness of Hollowvale completed. I'm going to read the Tome of XP, put it all in herb lore. 
And, oh, I got a thieving level too. I was not expecting that. There we go. Well, I'm not, I think I have all the levels I need for Legacy of a Seer Gaze, but I'm not going to do that until I can also do uh, Branches of Darkmire, because people in my clan were telling me that uh, if you do Legacy of a Seer Gaze and don't do Branches of Darkmire, then in Temple Trekking they will have Vire Watches spawn, which are really pretty much impossible to kill without the Blisterwood weapons. So, yeah, I'm going to have to hold off on that. Uh, the next order of business is going to be to uh, do the Hero's Quest and then the uh, Throne of Miscellanea and the Royal Trouble Quest. And yeah, that will be that. Alright, I'll be back when I'm done with the next quest. Alright, I'm about to loot my first chest ever. Let's see what we get. Whoops. Let me just kill the skeleton first. Otherwise, it's just going to keep interrupting me. Alright, let's loot this. Alright, bolt rack, some death runes, some gold coins. It's not the worst loot ever. I'll take it. Alright, here we are with the second chest. I got some blood runes. I guess that's okay. Alright, I'll be back with the next one. Alright, time to loot the third chest. And I got a Torag's Helm. Okay then. I mean, I can't really use that right now, but I'll take it. Alright. Be back with the uh, next two. I actually just realized I only have 16 sharks left, so I'm going to need to do some more fishing. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to do that before I try to do more barrows, so it'll be a little while. Alright, looting my next chest. Let's see what we get. There's some chaos runes and some coins. Nothing too good. Alright, I got one more, and then I can go get another Reaper assignment. Alright, here comes the last uh, chest of the task. Let me clear up some inventory space for the reward. And nothing, just some runes. I mean, I suppose it's fine because I'll be using these for the uh, Vizwax probably at some point, so can't really complain about that plus I advanced the slayer level to 48 all right I'll be back with my next death all right so I just got a death task uh, first they gave me Calphite Queen but I re-rolled that to Dagnoth Kings so I guess I'm gonna be doing some DKs which is actually probably a good thing because I have 62 wood cutting so I do need that uh, hatchet at some point all right I right, just finished the Stolen Hearts quest. I'm going to do uh, Diamond in the Rough next. And then I got uh, the Jack of Spades quest. I'm doing a bunch of these quests because for the Heroes quest, I think I need like 62 quest points. So I'm also going to be doing Regicide as well now since I have the agility level for it. Alright, Diamond in the Rough is now complete. Uh, and I think I should be able to start uh, the Jack of Spades quest. Um, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Uh, where do I start that quest? I'll be back when I'm done with that quest. Well, that quest was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, okay, Jack of Spades is complete. Alright then, I guess I will now do Regicide, I guess, so that I can... Get the Rune Halberd and Dragon Halberd. I still need quite a few more quest points before I will be able to... I think I need 14 more quest points before I can uh, do Heroes quests. So I still have tons of quests to do. Alright, I just finished Regicide. So I believe I can now uh, buy a Dragon Halberd and a Rune Halberd as well. That agility XP was so nice. 
And I just got that level. All right. Uh, I still have quite a bit more uh, quest points. How many more do I need? Let me look at this real quick. I think I need 56 quest points for Hero's Quest. I'm not sure, though. I'll be back when I figure this out. Alright, so, yeah. the I need 56 quest points for the Hero's Quest, and the only two quests I have left that I need to do for that are Shield of Arav and Merlin's Crystal. Merlin's Crystal gives me six quest points in and of itself, so that will already put me over the 56 I need. And then there's Shield of Arav, which gives me one, so I'll do those, and then I got the Hero's Quest to do. Just finished Merlin's Crystal, so that's six quest points. That's actually a crazy amount of quest points for such a short quest. Uh, now I just need to do the Shield of Arav, and then I can do Hero's Quest. Alright, Shield of Rob is now complete. Just got some coins and a quest point. But now I can do the Hero's Quest, which I'm going to go do right now. Alright, I just finished the Hero's Quest. And 29,000 free XP spread over 12 skills. That's going to be pretty awesome. Alright, so now for Throne of Miscellanea and uh, Royal Trouble. Okay, so I ended up getting a few skill levels from those lamps. I got 42 strength, 52 attack, and 56 herb lore. Let's see what that unlocks. Uh, okay, so that's one of the requirements for while Guthic sleeps. Let's see, 56 herb lore. Nothing really too big. 42 strength. Oh, that's all the levels for quiet before the swarm. So that means I can probably start doing uh, some of the uh, Void quests soon. Alright, I just finished Throne of Miscellanea, so now I'm going to do Royal Trouble. Alright. Alright, I just finished Royal Trouble. And I got a Slayer level. I'm now 49 Slayer and 57 Constitution. That will wrap up Episode 1 of my Iron Man. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, comment uh, with any feedback. And yeah, next episode I will probably just be trying to make some money to put into my kingdom. Uh, so it'll just be a bunch of combat. Alright. Bye.